Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Lily Light Tarot. Let me adjust my camera. We're going to go ahead and begin. Let's see. December 2023. Gemini. What do you need to know, Gemini? Oh, jeez. I already have jumpers coming out, which is my favorite. I love when the... Okay, this one's sticking out, too. I always have your cards pre-shuffled and cleansed. But I, I love the energies that come through. Okay, we're... Jeez, these cards are just... They're ready to go, Gemini. Okay, let, let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Top row. By the way, let me know. Do you guys visually follow along? Or do you audibly follow along? Or do you do both? Well, I guess if you're visually, you're, you're doing both. I know some people, they just like to listen to the tarot in the background. But I will still call out the cards here so you know what's coming through here for you. I'm going to pull three more cards because we're going to look at your current energy, your opportunity, or your challenge, and then advice from spirit. Gemini, let's see. December 2023, what's going on here? What's going on? Gemini, thank you for this guidance spirit for Gemini. Gemini, December 2023. December 2023. Gemini, December 2023. Gemini, 20. December 2023. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Let's get some clarifiers. Now, your your overall general energy, I'm looking at... You know what's crazy? Who, who was this? Gemini. Libra. I think Libra, the other air sign, they got this too as their area of... Um, overall energy so gemini we have the ten of swords okay this is showing that there's hurt sadness an ending painful ending um but it was like inevitable some type of betrayal for others too like you you know were done wrong but regardless of the the, the pain you're experiencing the ten of swords it shows that it was almost, it's like it was a necessary ending in order for you to move on because your area of opportunity here is the ace of pentacles to receive better, okay? Now, as we look at advice from spirit, we're gonna get clarifiers on these. Advice from spirit, we have the three of swords. So this is showing something about like healing, like heal, move forward, move past, mend yourself, take care of yourself too, okay? Like take care of the hurt that has been done onto you. This, not only is it um, physical, I feel like it's, it, could, it could be mental health too, mentally, okay? Healing. Re recuperating, grounding. Page of Cups, new area of love, a love interest coming in for those that are single or looking for new love. In December, we see there are many opportunities, okay? There are many opportunities for you to come across connections if you are looking for new love. We have the Page of Cups, Ace of Wands, showing growth in passion, interests, okay? And we see the Knight of Cups, pursuing. You pursuing but i feel like also other people are pursuing you gemini so if you remain open like the cup if you remain open to receive you will get some your, your cup filled basically so feel free to use that affirmation in december i remain open to receive whatever it is that you're looking to receive so comment down below i remain open to receive better love or lasting love I remain open to receive great opportunities, happiness, uh, abundance and health, right? Everyone's looking to receive something in their cup. And I see here that, you know, there's there's two cups. Like you're, you're ready for it. Like you're ready for the cups to be filled. Hmm. Gemini, I'm also seeing with the seven of... The seven of swords moving towards the sun. There's something here that you have like up your sleeve, not in a mischievous way, but it's like you're being selfish, rightfully so, with your happiness. You don't want it disturbed. You don't want someone to, to take away your happiness or the good news or something that you have on the horizon. And um, it's like you want it for yourself, okay? You're not... And it's not again it's not in a selfish way that i'm picking up on it's more like the people that are around you they're not deserving of this um, opportunity or happiness that you're coming across or that you're trying to kind of expand for yourself 
Hold on, let me see. I'm gonna get some clarifiers on that seven of um, swords. It's like you're ready to move on. There's somewhere here like you're, you're over it. You're ready to move, you're ready to leave, you're ready to um, depart. It's like you've been patient for so long, but now's the right time. A lot of you are feeling like, okay, you've put in your dues, you've put in the effort, the work, um, you've been patient long enough and you're just ready for a new start, new change. Let me see, page of cups. What, what or who is this page of cups? Or Gemini. Let's see. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Spirit is telling me. It was speaking of spirit. Look, we have High Priestess. Oh, interesting. I'm gonna just read this whole deck that came through. Um, but Spirit is saying that sometimes too, the Page of Cups. Not only does it represent like new love opportunity, but sometimes this could be like a, a friend. Okay, it's a friend or an acquaintance that matches similar interests that you have, and you'll be enjoying like their company. Intuition, ooh, somewhere here, Gemini, listen to your intuition because it could lead you to a like a hidden blessing or a surprise. Even though you may not see what's going to come out of it, what's going to pop out is going to be something that you're going to be very happy to receive as we look at the empress okay the empress here she does represent fertility and growth and birth and even though she may not see what the future holds for what she is birthing she's still excited because she knows it's going to be some type of blessing so if your intuition is guiding you into pursuing something in december really you know like lean into that because it could it could open up like a beautiful new uh, beginning or stage for you. Could possibly be with an earth sign, maybe a Taurus, could be a Capricorn um, or a Virgo for some of you. Something about, um, for others too, this opportunity, what I see coming up here, it's saying like, be ready. Okay, like have your like affairs in order, have your paperwork ready, have your money saved, um, have your bags packed, something like be ready, okay? Because the four of pentacles is saving, okay? It's putting, it's investing. Be ready to go. Be ready to like be on the go because in December, there may be a situation that arises that's gonna be new and it's gonna require you to leave where you're at and leave sooner than you had anticipated. So be ready to be on the move or to make a new strategic or different move maybe career related or personal like projects as well. Sometimes it could be love too. You and your partner are moving in or you're moving away or you're moving forward, right? Um, for others, I'm seeing too that Gemini, you're realizing like your work and your effort, it may have gone unrecognized, like the, the good work that you've put in, okay? The loyalty, the dedication. And this is, it's like you're because the page of cups someone else is discovering like your value or your worth in december someone's going to see you for what and who you truly are which then inspires you to leave where you have been maybe underappreciated and move forward with something else that's going to appreciate you let's see gemini what else wheel of fortune ace of wands and we see the four of swords Ooh, I'm hearing like, um, especially too with advice from spirit, the three of swords. Okay. Something about like healing, like get well soon is coming to mind. Get well soon or work on like emotional healing. Uh, take time for yourself, take time to grow, take time to recover. And through that time, sometimes it requires you to not only rest, rejuvenate, relax, but maybe separate from the thing, the very thing that has been hurting you. Okay, put it to rest. Let's see. I'm sensing there's like a new big life chapter moving into 2024 that's requiring you to be at your full strength or at least at a higher strength that you're at right now. Because again, I do see a lot of hurt, suffering, I see exhaustion coming in here. Three of Pentacles, things are coming together. Finally, like the tables are turning here for you, Gemini. Um, something that you feel like you were lacking, you're gonna be attracting with the Ace of Wands. I'm also sensing like this is your growth period, okay? You may have been in a drought, metaphorically speaking, where you just were not seeing the fruits like growing okay you just feel like nothing was maybe going your way or you weren't seeing like the money coming in or you weren't uh it could also be in internally you just f weren't feeling your highest you weren't feeling confident okay because there's a little bit of insecurity somewhere here but 
there's some type of development that's coming through where you're just going to come alive. You're going to feel alive. You're going to feel um, like there's this, like the sense of purpose. Okay. It's going to like this sense of just the best w way I can describe it is just like peace. Peace is coming in. Happiness, purpose. Um, you know, have you ever done something that you've never done before, but when you do it, you feel so confident about yourself i think of like gardening right like you start with the seed you plant it you don't know what you're doing but when you start to see that seed bud you're like oh my gosh wow like it gives you motivation and determination to keep going that's what i'm sensing here too it's like you may have been feeling low for so long but something here in december we see a turnaround happening we're starting to see some type of developments coming through not all, but for some of you, it could be you've been out of a job for a while or you haven't been receiving the ideal amount that you feel like you were worth when it comes to your job or company or business. It could also be with love too. You've been feeling empty. You've been feeling um, alone. But again, we see some type of like love opportunity coming in here, Gemini. Yeah, the four of swords with the fool. Okay, you're definitely on this path of a new beginning, a new season. There's something exciting right around the corner waiting for you and it's like when you go on a trip, right? Before you go on a trip, before you start a new job, you want to make sure you're well rested because you know there's going to be a lot required of you on this path. You're going to have to walk, explore, eat, or when you start a new job, you have to train, get to know the system, uh, meet new people, right? So Spirit is saying something about like December, like get ready. Okay, get ready because there's something here and this is different for everyone. So I can't exactly pinpoint it, but I feel like it's going to be an unpredictable moment. Like you won't be able to predict when it's coming, but it's like be prepared for, for it. Okay. And I guess that's the definition of luck, right? When timing and preparation meets, when like the timing of the opportunity and the preparation like meets. Let me look at your bottom row. We have 10 of pentacles. Knight of Swords, and then the Knight of Cups. Something, I see there's some type of good news surrounding something that you are looking to uh, stabilize. Um, because the Ten of Wands, uh, Ten of Pentacles, it's showing like long term. Whether it's a home, it has to do with something like um, a physical financial security. It could be a relationship too. Maybe you're looking to finally get married or finally settle down, finally get that job, that career, start a business. It's something that you were finally, like you're, you're, you want it to come into like uh, fruition. It's like, okay, it's the, it, it's complete. Cause on the scale one through 10, 10 is a complete. So Gemini, we see like something here is there's update or progress of showing like, yes, it's complete. Something is complete. It's finalized in December. And the 10 of pentacles, I feel like, um, some it could be financial situations like you're now in a better financial spot but it may be like a, a it could be financial security could also be some type of comfort but it could just be overall in life like things are finally coming together like you have a roof over your head like bills are getting caught up and paid paid off the credit card something here like finally you know you're feeling loved you're feeling supported you're getting help you're reuniting you know there's something here where it's like oh finally there's a sense of like whew, like closure like finally like finally i got that promotion finally i got this house finally i got this um my business taking off right like finally this that sense of just like finally <laughs> like finally okay this card wants to come out right see look because i'm clarifying the ten of pentacles finally and the nine of wands represents like working so hard okay being so dedicated this is like the test of faith this is like remaining disciplined and dedicated to secure the foundation. So it's like, whew, finally, you see, it was all worth it. Because what was here made out of sticks, we see turn into stone. In the background, their foundation. It's like, finally, you know, you put the, the, the mud and the cement over the sticks and it create like this stone, this, this, this home. What is up with, okay, hold on, let me see. Aquarius had, this is crazy too, Aquarius had, um double 10 of swords wow you air signs are really just kind of like going through you're just cutting ties like there's some doors are closing but they're closed because you're meant to embark on like a new a new journey so we have now double 10 of swords appearing okay and then we have a double wheel of fortune so 
I'm also seeing that you guys are realizing that um, where you are at, where you are at or who you're with or in the environment that you were in, yes, it may be saddening to disconnect or relocate or readjust, but... And it could be because it's happening so soon. I'm getting the sense here, Gemini, where you're like, oh my gosh, this is this happening so soon. But it's like, well, this is how it's got to be. Something like that. Like, you gotta rip the Band-Aid off is what's coming to mind. It's like, it has to be this way, right? It can't be like a slow stroll in the park. It has to just like, hurry up, <laughs> hurry up. It has to happen. It has to happen this way. Um, I'm also sensing that for some of you, when it comes to healing, you're going to get over something sooner than you had expected. Okay, like the initial shock will be there, but your recovery of that shock will be very quick. Whether it's information or news that you hear, uh, could be something that you've experienced recently and you're just like, it, it may have, you may have been pressed for a while, but then somewhere in December, like something turns around and you're like, hmm, I'm not going to let that shake me up because you have this 10 of pentacles. So you're moving away from like this bitterness, this hurt, this, um, like stress, okay, this betrayal, but you're moving towards something that's stable, predictable, safe, secure, prosperous, abundant, and you're just like, all right, you know what? What I'm moving towards, I shouldn't even be stressed over this, okay? Why be stressed when you can be blessed? <laughs> Feel free to uh, comment down that affirmation here, Gemini. Don't stress, be blessed, okay? You're not stressed, you're moving towards being blessed, Walking away from the stress, running away, to, running for towards the blessed. Um, let me see here. I'm also seeing, yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Look, the the king, or not the king, the Knight of Cups moving towards the Wheel of Fortune. There's like good fortunes in your future. Now, when it comes to love too, I'm also seeing that there is like a, a, a really tight love connection coming your way. When it comes to opportunities and like joy there's something really really big i feel like there's like a big shift that's going to happen gemini we're just like wow this change is going to be for the better you're going to be so like so excited about it you're just going to be like wow this change was like it, it's it's like almost like a life like turnaround like you know when your life turns around you're just like wow this will change everything this will change everything Two of cups sometimes it looks like relationship king of swords wait king of swords wait was that aquarius that had king of swords too oh my goodness wait i'm thinking of doubles i could have sworn that was aquarius that had king of swords too you guys are having like the same energy and i think they had two of cups mm, so I, I feel like there's because i wanted to clarify i feel like um with the king of swords a lot of you are being for, like releasing yourself from some type of control or manipulation um it could this person because i'm seeing the closure with the ten of swords gemini it's like you're f f like this air element with the birds like you're taking off like you're, you're leaving you're departing someone that may have tried to keep you grounded okay but you're the air sign so it's like you're meant to fly you're meant to flock you're meant to thrive you're, you're meant to elevate and someone may have been trying to keep you grounded keep you down keep you stuck keep you back okay keep you from seeing your potential and you're like no i see what you're trying to do here you can't manipulate me you can't trick me you can't make me feel guilty um this person they may have been like all about themselves but anyway that that ending i see it's like you're, you're cutting ties with that energy that may have been trying to keep you stuck and your area of opportunity it's like you receive what you're receive what's good for you okay receive what you want to receive receive what you know you want to connect with when we see the two of cups let me see. As we look at the Three of Swords, what is this Three of Swords for Gemini? Three of Swords, an area of advice for Gemini. Man, these cards, I'm just so excited. They're just like all over the place here. Okay. Ooh, Three of Cups. Wow, double threes. Okay, remember I was saying like healing? Um, something about like healing. Uh, some of uh, the Three of Cups too, it shows that you may find comfort in making new connections or deepening the strong, valuable connections that you have now, whether it's through friends, family, going out, like hanging. Like, I don't want to say you're using them as a distraction, but something here, it's like you can heal faster if you lean on the strengths of other people that support you. Okay. Could even be outside help, community, you know, um, your, your 
you know, your, I don't know, outside <laughs> um, sources. It could be people that you meet, you know, like a, re- a, a book, a podcast. But I feel like it's more, mm, it's like an intimate connection that you may have so, with someone, like a best friend, maybe a, a, a close pa- a family member, um, your, you know, your, your best, like your favorite sister or brother or cousin. There's something here where it's like lean on them, um, because it's like they're gonna help you get over like the, the the pain or the suffering. They're gonna help you heal in some way. They may be like taking care of you. They may uh, be like that shoulder to cry on. They could be like that support that you need to get through like your dark time. Okay, and healing does take time. Healing does take time. So something here like don't rush it. Okay, don't try to force yourself to heal faster. Just know that you're on this journey of healing in general. Um, and that's what really, really matters. Okay. The three of cups. I'm also hearing too that like better times are coming. Like it may feel very saddening now when we see like the clouds and the rain, but after the rain, we see like the rainbow. Okay. So there's something here. It's like, yeah, you're going to be, um, crying now, but you're going to be happy later. You're going to be much, much happy later. Interesting. As we saw here with the sun too, remember? So thanks for tuning in here, Libra. I'll see you in the next um, reading. Until then, stay well and be blessed.